So I thought I'd try doing this guessing game thing as an object oriented version. I've brought you along for the ride, see how this goes. So this is my object oriented thing with a guess game class and then some functionality down here. I'm just going to grab that class because that contains, in theory, most of the stuff that I'm going to need. So I'm just going to drop that in right at the top, I think is a good place. And I've got my import random already, so that's good. So let's just have a look. The init sets up a player name. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that. In fact, let's pull that out. That's not actually very useful. And it sets up a computer number variable. We've done that in the other game. Guesses so far. I'm going to call that counter. Makes life easier. And a game over. So increment goes is going to be counter and if I say down here counter then everything is the same as what we had before just kind of using that just to keep myself consistent and not get confused now I'm not going to need these anymore because these are in what I am doing but I am going to need they're in the class already um, I'm going to need a class for my game and oh, that wasn't what I wanted at all. Why did it auto complete to that class game? All right, and game equals, and we're going to make it from guess game. Okay, so that should create a persistent game object which is going to have some properties and methods that I can use in my actual program down here so I need to refer to my game here class game uh, I'm probably going to need these would be identical I, I would have thought those would be most of the things that we do um, I'm not doing counter plus equals one I'm using this increment goes um, and the reason for that I guess is that I want to potentially do other things in that increment goes thing so um, I'm definitely not going to right now but on principle we should maybe rather than directly modifying the properties of the class of the object is um, that we should try and do it through a method form equals request dot form that will be the same guess coming from the user will be the same uh, comp num so if game dot comp num equals user guess well done you got it return render template otherwise message too low message too high uh, I'm not going to do it if counter equals three I'm going to instead call the game dot check game over method and then say if game dot game over and what that will also do is I don't need to have this here because I'm only going to have this one place. So if game dot game over message you failed return render template. Uh, what am I going to do? I think I'm going to leave that just like it is. Let's see if it works, shall we? Save run. Should be exactly the same, except for the errors that I've just added. So five. Error. Uh, increment goes missing one. Self. I thought I'd put that in from before. Increment goes has got self in there. And did it just say it was missing that? I might just pause a second. So that confusing error message that when I called increment goes, it needed a self argument was because when I made the guess, the game object from the guess game class, I didn't call it correctly. I needed to put those brackets there. Silly error. Uh, I've also just run it once and it's told me that um, I need, I'd forgotten to put this in game dot comp num I think that's possibly the only place that is so let's just see I haven't actually run it since then 
And let's see what we get. So, guess five. Another error. The input on line 43. Check. We've got game over. So, yes, I do actually need to pass that a value, don't I? Uh, this is expecting an input of what it's going to compare to the computer number. Uh, so, I need to, to pass it here. User guess. Oh, that should work. Try that again. So, five, submit, too low. Seven, submit, too low. Nine, submit. I failed. Hopefully it was eight. I will restart that. Try it one more time, just to double check. Five. What if we get it this time? Too low. Seven. Too low. I'm going to go eight. Wouldn't be the same again, would it? Okay. We've got to, we've got to test it rigorously. So, one more time. It's like watching someone play Fortnite on Twitch, isn't it? Submit. Too low. Going with nine. Too low. Ten. Failed. Hmm. Let me just have a quick look and check. I'm back again. No doubt some of you will have spotted my error here. Uh, the only way we get to this game over.html is in this game dot game over, which may be game over because I've gone too far. It may be game over because I finished correctly and I hadn't checked for that. I've just always said you failed, but you may not have failed. So I am going to do this slightly differently. I am going to, uh, this is probably a slightly clumsy way of doing it. In fact, this is a kind of wrongish way to do it because uh, the, the method is no longer named correctly. Uh, I'm going to say, uh, this is really clumsy, but kind of, my excuse is I'm rushing to finish. Yeah, that's the reason I'm doing this really badly. Yeah, I'm going to come back and refactor it later. We do this kind of stuff. We do, um, we do uh, really nice programs after the fact. So if this is true, um, so if self count equals three return you failed and um, I should actually return something else just in case and I we won't use this value but we need to have a return value of some sort if I'm returning in there ah uh, no possibly not because I'm gonna be looking at it anyway so if game dot game oh, I'm really not happy with how this is working. So game, check. So result equals game dot check game over. If game dot game over, result equals. Sorry. If game dot game over, then I can return game over dot end with the message equal to result. Clumsy, but it should work. Question yeah. Yeah, oh, I don't like it at all. I'll fix it another time. Five, submit, too low. Seven, submit, too high. Please let it be six. I won. It seems like it works. Call that done.